Hey everyone, welcome to another car review, this time on the 2015 Honda Civic Type R. Now, I don't need to give too much of a history lesson on the Civic. You all know them, and either you love them or you hate them, but either way, there's no denying that these cars define a huge part of Japanese car culture, taking the lightweight, small-engine economy cars and souping them up to race with the more purpose-built, real sports cars. But the Type R? Well, it's not your grandma's Civic. So let's take it out for a quick test drive and see if that little red R means anything. Alright, as always, let's start by listening to the engine sound. And I've got to say, for me personally, I'm just not the biggest fan of the engine sound. It almost sounds like it was recorded far away, there's just kind of a weird muffle to it that I'm just not the biggest fan of. But more importantly, how's the car drive? Now, I've got to say this one's a bit interesting for me because both in Forza and in real life, I just don't spend that much time in front wheel drive cars, so it's a little bit foreign for me. But with this little bit of time I've spent with the Civic so far, I'm loving it. It weirdly hits this middle point for me between an all-wheel drive, grippy track car and a rear-wheel drive, more drift-everywhere kind of fun sports car, where I'm still getting that grip from an all-wheel drive car, it's handling beautifully, but I'm still able to just kind of have a little more fun like you would in a rear-wheel drive car. I'm kind of feeling something special about this Type R here. I've actually been asked to review kind of every other version of the Civic in my review series, and I just kind of picked this one at random, but this makes me want to try all the other ones, because if they are half as good as this, uh, I've been missing out on something. So let's wrap up this test drive and hop into the upgrades window and see what we've got for customization. Starting with tire compounds, we've got the usual array. You have both rally and drag tires available. However, sadly, and I'm kind of surprised about this, no wheel spacing options. And no aero options either. Uh, the stock Forza front wing, and at least we've got kind of a custom Forza rear wing. You know what, I'm okay with that. That's a little bit better than just the default one. Uh, and no engine swaps or aspiration swaps either. That's super interesting. Uh, looks like just a rear wheel drive and all wheel drive swap we're working with. Uh, and that's pretty surprising for me. I was expecting a lot more customization out of a Honda Civic, but I'll give it a bit of a pass. Uh, the Type R is a special edition, so we'll see what we're working with. I'm going to go ahead and make a tune, and I'll be back in a second. And we're back with an A-Class tune on the Honda Civic, pushing 338 horsepower and weighing 2,443 pounds. This car was really easy to tune. Uh, it responded really well to my normal tuning methods. I was worried about understeer going into this video, but even just from that first test drive, uh, my worries were definitely put to rest, and driving this car with a little bit more power at the top of A-Class, uh, it's even better. So just a quick note about this tune, I could have swapped out the stock wing for the upgraded wing that unlocks downforce tuning, but I just liked the look of this one better. Um, it did also save me five pounds, but I didn't get the downforce tuning option. I just didn't feel like I needed it. Uh, and I like the look of the stock wing a little bit more. So let's take this car out onto the test track and see how it did. Okay, so taking this car out onto my test track was just, it was a treat. I absolutely love this car and I cannot describe to you just how easy it was to drive. Usually with this car review series, when I'm driving a car I'm not comfortable with, it takes me a lap or two to really warm up and feel out the car, but with the Civic Type R here, I was driving great and feeling confident right away on the first lap. Honestly, I came into this video with a bit of a mindset that front wheel drive was just not for serious race cars, and it was always a negative that some cars just dealt with better than others, um, but rear wheel drive and all wheel drive were where the serious cars are, but Coming out of this video and just driving this car around my test track, I'm wrong. I'm flat out wrong. This car is so good, I cannot describe to you how much I love this car, and maybe it's just because it's something new, um, but it's fast, it's easy to drive, and in a way it's opened up a whole new world for me because I've generally shied away from front wheel drive cars, but now I'm just excited to try them all out. 
but today is about the Civic, and let's go over to the lap time board and see how it did. Alright, so we're looking in A class here, the Porsche 944 from our last video actually being the top competitor, but the Honda Civic Type R 2015 did the lap in 2 33.510. I actually had to go back and drive some of my other cars just to make sure something hadn't changed, but no, this car's just that fast. I can't tell you how happy I am about this. I have seriously been sleeping on front wheel drive cars, and this Civic is a great example. I can't wait to try out the other ones. Um, but for now, let's go into the Hokie score and see how it stacks up there. So I've pretty much done nothing but sing praises for this car the whole video, but there are some negatives and it starts sadly with looks. Admittedly, I'm just not that big of a fan. It looks a little too Hot Wheels car to me, um, and that's why it gets a 4. It stings a little bit because I love the car, but I just don't like the look of it. Um, sound is again another negative here. Um, I'm giving it a 3 just because there's some merit, it sounds unique anyway, but I really don't enjoy the sound of this car. It just sounds muffled in some weird way. Um, customization, another bad one. We're looking at a two. There was just nothing to do to this car. It gets one extra point because of that custom spoiler, but no wheel spacing, uh, no body kits, no engine swaps. There just wasn't anything to do here. But let's recover from those bad scores and give fun a nine. I don't need to explain much here guys, this car is so much fun, I love it. Uh, moving into the competitive scores for drag, we're looking at a 2.5. There's just so many other cars, even in the Civic lineup, that are much better drag cars. Uh, for rally, however, the car gets a 7. This was a great rally car. Uh, if you'll notice, I'm actually using the rally tires on my A-Class tune here, uh, just to give it that little bit of flexibility. Now for race. Well, we're looking at a 10. It might not be A-class meta bone shaker levels fast, but it's right up there, and it has the added benefit of just being super easy to drive, which is why we're giving out our first 10 in Hokie score history. This Civic definitely deserves it. What it doesn't deserve is a very high drift score. You can swap it to rear wheel drive, but that doesn't make it that much better. Um, there's just not much here in drift, so it gets a 2. Now for online, I'm actually giving it a pretty high score here. It gets a 7. There's some real merit here for both rivals racing and just taking it into some unranked online adventure. But let's move right on to the flexibility score, which is a 4.7, really just carried by those high rally and race scores. Now for style points, remember out of negative 5 to positive 5? Well, I'm giving the Civic a 0, no modifier. And that's just because the Civic is such a polarizing car. Like I said right at the beginning, you either love them or you hate them. Really, everybody has some opinion on the Civic. And that means that when you're rolling up to a car meet in one of these, uh, you're going to get mixed reactions. So that leads us to a final score for the 2015 Honda Civic Type R of 51.2. This does make the Type R just barely our lowest scoring car yet, but the Hokie score can be harsh. And this car does what it does really well but it fell short on too many points for me to really be a great all-rounder, and that's what the Hokie score really favors. And with that said, everyone, that just about wraps it up for our review on the 2015 Honda Civic Type R. If you're anything like me and have generally shied away from cars like this, definitely give the Type R a shot. And with that said, everybody, thank you so much for watching. I've been loving this series so far, and I'll see you in the next one.